domestic terrorism bullshit. They say that 9-11 truth is a domestic terrorist. We should think about honesty and about divine objectivity. What can we see at 9-11? We can see three towers collapsing at free fall speed. No pancake. Buildings collapsing in a controlled demolition. Pulverized into a cloud of dust of asbestos dust biological warfare on the people of New York a controlled demolition we can see that honestly when we look at the video three buildings collapsing in a controlled demolition falling at free fall speed we're just speaking the truth that's the truth. We can see it. We can all see it. We've all got to wake up and see it. We're not domestic terrorists. This is honesty. This is truth. This is truth that's going to come back and bite us on the bum, as they say. Now look. Eight pre former heads of the DEA have come out and said, you know that the marijuana should be illegal that you know that it's a dangerous drug we know it's not a dangerous drug it is not antisocial the problem for them is it is a social drug it is our holy communion we smoke it together and we reason together we talk together the increasing spread of the you know the the uh, autoflaring sativas will get people talking together more and being more creative. Just like in the 60s, there's a new youth movement. The youth have got to put their energy into something and there's no hope, there's no function for them within the system. There's no jobs and no careers. You know, internships and slavery or expensive courses that have got no you know, intellectual basis but to some deluded professionalism, you know, pushing pharmaceuticals, big pharma products, you know, on the ignorant, you know, preying on our fellow man. And this perpetual look at Christianity, you know what I mean? This, pre this idea that we should just tolerate, tolerate this religious symbol of a man nailed to a cross being crucified, a Jew, the king of the Jews being crucified as a blood sacrifice. You know, we shouldn't put these ideas in our children's minds. <coughs> Islam is, an, the, is also a man-made religion. It's not a religion, it's, a, it's they're both militaristic control regimes are ten five times a day to pray you know for drill you must all conform you know it must be divided but you know we cannot have that division we must have equality or the tide will turn the other way and the women will take over the women will take over in the jobs and, and ruling everything There needs to be sharing, there needs to be relationship, there needs to be communication, there needs to be understanding. This perpetual war bullshit is just as killing each other. You know, I, Christians and Muslims in a holy war. Perpetual war. Thou shalt not kill. Can't you read? You know, can't you read? Don't, can't you wake up? to the violence of your religion, telling children about a man being crucified. What a horror. Saying to them that this man has been crucified to save you from your sins to a child. What is a child supposed to think of that? You know, it's to torment the child, it's to frighten the child. 
We've got to stop abusing our children with these violent images and these violent religions and this violent society. You know, it starts off in the cartoons. You know, violent, lowest common denom denominator, aggressive, competitive, self-destructive of the community. This is why marijuana is illegal, to break up the community. The states that legalize marijuana, the increasing number of states which will legalize marijuana, <laughs> as it is prophesied must set a higher standard of behavior you know, you know say with littering just with community welfare with a community atmosphere with a free, freeing up you know the econo economy of entrepreneurial spirit of creativity of freedom You know, the birds in the treetops, you know, saying everyone must be free. You know, we're free, everyone must be free. But we must be free, but at the same time protect our poor and vulnerable and our children from violent images in religion. You know, what's that got to do with religion, with happiness, with joy, with a functioning community, you know, within a global village? We don't need a divisive, any divisive religion, so we need to get rid of Christianity and Islam and their perpetual war, which is just used by the tyranny to keep us killing each other. We've got to wake up and stop it. The drug war is criminalizing and then brutalizing us, putting us in prisons as slaves. It's got to stop. It's got to stop. We've got to oppose the law at every turn. Got to go for jury nullification. Deny that it's herb. Deny that it's herb, so they've got to test it. Drag our feet in cooperation with the system. Stand firm. If you're gorilla growing, if you're growing at home, if you rely upon the, the gangs to deliver, you know, for which we're very grateful. And we must persevere and we must grow the auto flowering sativas. And we must get more creative and we must come together and reason together, you know, and build our community and ban these religions of Christians and Muslims trying to enforce their tyranny upon us. We must expose the tyranny of 9-11 truth, truth. You know, show the tyranny and its inhumanity. Its inhumanity. Its bullying. Is based upon the Knights Templar, is root in the tyranny and power structure of the Knights Templar, and the corruption of the, the money system, the corruption of the social order, the corruption of the land ownership, the corruption of the division and destruction of the tribes, the destruction of imperialism, the destruction of our natural religion in shamanism, spiritualism, the old time religion, the freeing of the spirit, the sharing of the joy of eternal life, not one life, not one eternal damnation, eternal life.